in the words of Nate. Hello, and welcome back to Crowbro Studio. Okay, so today I have created a list of things which make people, or at least me, say why. The first thing which will make you say why is reading the word why out loud. Currently, people are unsure why this phenomenon occurs, but it seems to be consistent, or maybe it's just a massive coincidence. Breadfruit is a marvelous fruit. It's originally from the Philippines, and apparently when it's cooked, it has a bread-like texture and tastes like a potato. Now that sounds amazing. My only questions are why does it look so intimidating? It has spikes, like a pineapple, but less scary than a pineapple. Also, why did someone decide to cook one? But besides that, I definitely want to try some sometime, because, you know, it sounds good. Potato bread, and it's a fruit, so that means it's healthy. Another thing which creates a desire for the word why is the opera glass. An opera glass is a strange contraption. It's basically a fancy pair of binoculars on a stick, used to view stuff at a distance at a player opera. What I don't get is why it's still necessary to have it, like, so fancy. And why are they so expensive? Is it a status thing? Like, are they just used to show off how wealthy you are when you're already at an expensive opera? Actually, I want to get some for school, just to mess with people. Potholes are often found on the road. They seem to have some deep hatred of tires, and nobody can figure out how this intense rivalry began. But it continues till today. The next subject of this dialogue is modern art. I can kind of understand the concept behind it, of it, you know, looking nice but being simplistic enough that it's not distracting from other things. So it works well in offices or hospitals and other places where focus is required but still makes it look nice. But my question is how come it can be so expensive? And why isn't my yellow square very expensive? Like, apparently someone made millions of dollars with a yellow square. I could do that in kindergarten, and I don't have millions of dollars. But, you know, just blame the yellow squares. <sighs> Moving on. Currently, bad clickbait is quite extensive on the internet, often in the form of a news article, and more frequently in the form of YouTube videos, such as the example I've created here. However, I think I might have put more effort into this, like the fire effect. Very proud of that. Took all of maybe two minutes. But still, like, some of these channels are putting out multiple of these videos a day and getting thousands of views on all of them. Which must mean they're making a lot of money, because they have ads on all of them. And they have subscribers for some reason. However, I'm putting like usually at least a week into all of my videos and maybe uploading two a month at most it's my goal for this year upload two a month but at least at the point that i'm making this video most of them only get around 40 views and um i'm sorry my handwriting was getting messy at this point in the script i can't really tell what i was trying to say On a different note, or would it be tone, then again, in my case it's quite monotone, never mind. Next is the round holes on the boyon cube container. These confuse me, and probably also other people, but why are they there? They seem to serve no purpose, because the boyon cube cannot fit through the circle. However, it appears they're there to help you control the amount that you are shaking out of it. Yet you cannot shake them out of it, so therefore, it's controlling it too much. Basically, they don't make sense. That's where I'm trying to go with this, I think. Yeah. Why is pollen so, so everywhere? It's like yellow, disgusting tree snow. It spreads across the land every gust of wind. 
and the rain just collects it into pools of swirling grossness and makes me sneeze. I don't like it. feel like it's going to take over soon. I'm worried. Watch out for that pollen. It will get you. And it will make you miserable. Keep your eyes open and your nose is closed. The color salmon confuses me. I feel like it's a very strong color and it should be used responsibly. Not in excess, but enough to, you know, look nice because, you know, it's a pretty okay color, but it's definitely a powerful one, so be careful with it, because it could take over. Also, I don't know why, but I kind of want to see it on more things, but at the same time, I don't want to see it on more things. I don't know. But, yeah, I've got mixed feelings about it, and I'm going to need to think about this more. Maybe I'll make a video on colors at some point. I don't know. PT cruisers are an interesting thing. It's like an alien spaceship from a really, really low budget movie. Why did whoever designed this, like, design this? What were they thinking? What was going through their head? And why did they have the option for wood paneling? It doesn't help. It just makes it look less good. And it didn't even look good to start with. I find this to be a highly unattractive car, and no offense to anyone who actually drives one. However, your car may look like a hearse wearing a relatively full diaper. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know in the comments. I'm probably going to start working on another longer video, kind of like the potato video. I'm not going to say what it is yet, but I think it's going to be cool. Also, my eyebrow has survived the month, as the notice on the bottom has said and yeah thanks to all I think right now it's 54 of our subscribers and I hope that number will keep growing and people will keep enjoying our amazing content but for now farewell and good night